Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, two squares, this square A, B, C, D, and this other square B, E, F, G, put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side length uh, of this uh, smaller square is uh, two units, whereas the side length uh, of this uh, larger square is uh, three units. And moreover, we got uh, these uh, diagonals, uh, A, F, uh, and uh, E, G. They intersect each other at this uh, point uh, P. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, F, G, P. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are dealing with these uh, two squares and their side lengths uh, are equal. If this side length is uh, 2, then this side length is going to be 2, 2 and uh, 2 across the board. And likewise for this uh, bigger square, if this side length is uh, 3, then this side length is going to be 3, 3, and uh, 3 across the board. And now in this uh, next step, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines uh, to make our job easier. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular MN that passes through this point uh, P. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, FGP, and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula, area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And here we can see the base of this uh, yellow triangle uh, is uh, three units. So our only task is uh, to find this height. Uh, I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase h. So therefore now our task is uh, to find the value of this height uh, lowercase h. And now let's make an observation. We know that uh, this uh, MN length uh, equals to this side length uh, EF. If this is uh, 3, then this uh, length uh, MN is going to be 3 units uh, as well. And we know this uh, MP length uh, is lowercase uh, h. So therefore, this uh, PN length is going to be 3 minus h. So I can write uh, 3 minus h. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle EBG. And we can see that this uh, is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, BG equal to this side length uh, EB. And now let's recall triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle, uh, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees. And likewise, this uh, angle is going to be 45 uh, degrees as well. And now we can see that uh, this uh, side uh, BG is parallel to this side uh, MN. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle since they are corresponding angles if this angle is 45 degrees this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, shaded uh, triangle uh, ENP is an isosceles uh, triangle as well since this angle is 45 degrees uh, and this angle is 45 degrees uh, as well so therefore uh, this side length uh, NP is going to be equal to this side length uh, NE. If this side length is uh, 3 minus H, then this uh, NE length is going to be 3 minus H uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, BE is uh, 3 units, whereas this uh, NE length uh, is uh, 3 minus H. So therefore, uh, this uh, B and length uh, is going to be 3 minus uh, 3 minus H. So I can write uh, 3 minus uh, 3 minus uh, H. Now let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign. This is going to give us 
3 minus 3 plus uh, h this is gone so therefore this turns out to be equal to h so therefore our b and length uh, is uh, h and now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees now let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle uh, alpha we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and moreover in this uh, triangle uh, a and p this angle is alpha this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta so therefore we conclude that this uh, big right triangle uh, AEF uh, is similar to this uh, smaller right triangle uh, a and p according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words we have a ratio of uh, ef and ae this side uh, is our ef uh, and this whole uh, side uh, is uh, ae is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, np and an this uh, side uh, is our np and this uh, side is our an and now we can see our ef uh, length uh, is uh, three units and this whole uh, ae length is going to be two plus three is going to make uh, five units so therefore ae length is going to be five units and our this uh, np length uh, is three minus h so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 3 minus h and finally this uh, a and length uh, is going to be 2 plus h so i can write 2 plus h so therefore uh, our a and length is going to be 2 plus uh, h so therefore this equation is going to become 3 divided by 5 equals to 3 minus h divided by 2 plus uh, h and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so when we multiply it's going to give us uh, 6 uh, plus 3 h uh, equals to 15 minus uh, 5 times uh, h and now i'm going to move uh, this uh, 6 to the right hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this uh, 5 h uh, on the left hand side so therefore i can write uh, 3h plus uh, 5 times h equal to 15 minus uh, 6 so therefore we got 8h equals to 9 let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate h 8 and 8 is gone so therefore our height h turns out to be 9 divided by 8 uh, units so therefore our this uh, height uh, h uh, of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 9 divided by 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, fgp and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base uh, of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 3 units whereas the height uh, of this yellow triangle is 9 divided by 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got 1 uh, divided by 2 times uh, base uh, is uh, 3 times our height is uh, 9 divided by 8 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 27 divided by 16 square units so thus the yellow triangle area turns out to be 27 divided by 16 uh, square units and this could be equal to 1.6875 square units uh, as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye